Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over how to manually upload bank transactions to your Intuit QuickBooks account. So I just ran into this issue, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Intuit QuickBooks, they weren't grabbing about six months worth of banking transactions from my Ally Bank account, so I needed to manually upload these. So what we wanna do is go to the bank account that you need to get the transactions from, and it's gonna be different depending on which bank that you are using. On Ally Bank, I go to my transactions history, and then I can see there's a download option option over here. This is going to allow me to create a CSV file, and then I'm going to be able to use that to upload that data manually to my Intuit QuickBooks account. But again, like I said, it's going to depend on which bank that you're using, and you might have to Google how to get a CSV file of your bank transactions from your respective bank. But in this example, I'm going to be using my Ally Bank account. So if I click on download, and for me, this brings up a couple of different menu options. So I need to select the file format. I'm gonna do a CSV file, and then I need to select the date range. So if you need data from an entire year, well, then you just start from the first day of the year all the way to the end of December. But for me, it was a very specific range. So I had to do a custom date range. And in my situation, the data that I needed was from May 25th to November 18th of 2023. So once I select the date range, then I can click on where it says download. And now I have that CSV file located in my downloads folder. So now at this point, I'm going to go over to my Intuit QuickBooks account. And in my QuickBooks account here in the upper right hand area, there's the settings gear. If we click on that, this is going to open up this menu and we want to click on where it says import data. We're going to be importing that data manually from our bank CSV file that we had just created. So I'm going to click on import data and this is going to be importing bank data. So I'm going to click on that. And now we can manually upload our transaction. So I can upload my bank statement by either dragging or dropping or selecting the file that I had created. I know that file is in my download folder. I'm gonna click on where it says select files and then selecting that CSV file that I had created. So now it's in here and ready to go. So I can click on where it says continue and then select a QuickBooks account for a bank file that you wanna to upload to. So selecting that and then continuing. And then it's asking about the format of the CSV file. So if you need to confirm this, you can open up the CSV file for yourself in a notepad, for instance, but it says, is the first row in your file a header for me? It is, so that's gonna be yes. How many columns show amounts for me? It's just one column, so that is also correct. And then in my CSV file, the date is in column one, the description is in column five, and the amount is in column three. So all of that looks good. And it's asking what date format the file uses. And for my example, it uses year, month, day. So selecting that and then clicking continue. And then it's asking if it wants to keep the original values or reverse all the values. And for me, the amount is correct. So I'm gonna keep the original values. And then it's asking to choose the transactions that you want to import. For me, I want to select all of these transactions to import. So checking this box here at the top and it's gonna select all of the transactions. And then I can click continue at the bottom. And then it says QuickBook will import these transactions using the fields that you chose. Do you want to import them now? And at this point, you can click yes, and it will import these transactions. And once the transactions are done importing, then in your Intuit QuickBooks, you can go to transactions and in your bank transactions for the account that you had uploaded them to, you can click on that and check over to make sure everything looks good. So I hope this video was helpful going over how you can manually update bank transactions to your Intuit QuickBooks. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.